when you have a video analysis model with great benchmarks and amazing quality then christmas really has come in this video we are going to install this molmo 2 model locally and we are going to test it out on images videos and also multi image scenario not only that i will be describing the whole architecture in as simple words as possible this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe molmo 2 is a family of open weight vision models from allen institute designed to handle images multi image sets and videos with strong grounding capabilities grounding is the key word here grounding in this context refers to the model's ability to connect its answers directly to specific visual evidence in the input rather than just describing what it sees in general terms it can literally point to locations by outputting coordinates in images or frames and that provides time stamps for events in videos assign persistent ids to track the same object across frames even if it is temporary hidden and tie its reasoning or counts to those exact spatial and temporal references i will be talking more around its architecture but for now let's get the installation underway i am going to use this ubuntu system i have 1 gpu card and nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram but we will see how much vram it takes and if you are looking to rent a gpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mast compute in videos description as you can see that i am creating a virtual environment with conda and that is done let me install all the prerequisites make sure that you use this transformers version and molmo utilities and while it installs that let me give a huge shout out to our very good friends who are sponsoring this video a surprising breakthrough from europe's ai scene while most big labs are closing off their models giga chat ultra has just been released a massive 700 billion parameter mixture of expert model trained from scratch with mit license for any hardware configuration giga chat lightning runs at blazing speed plus there is a new speech model kadensky five for images and video all fully open moreover we have giga am for audio modalities plus powerful tokenizers everything is in under open license i will drop the links in video description so please do check them out everything is installed next up i am going to run this script this is the script which i have obtained from their hugging face card and you will find the link in video description i have just put in the gradio interface on top of it i'm downloading the model and then creating an interface where we can play around with images and videos and if you want the code please become the member of the channel happy to share the code with you okay so let me run this and the first time when you run this it downloads some model there are eight shards of it and the model is now running let's access it in our local browser and the model is now loaded our gradio demo is running let's select some images first and then we will check them out so i'm just going to select an image from my local system i'm just going to go with this temple i am just going to ask it uh describe image let's check it out let's run the image analysis let's also check the vram consumption as the model is already loaded onto the gpu so it is consuming around 38.4 gig of vram so it would easily fit onto over 48 gb of vram for images there you go so it is talking about that the image showcases uh I can't read it. A magnificent Hindu temple located in Thanjavur, Tamil Nadu. Okay, so um, I thought this was Madurai temple, but if you are from that region, please confirm. But other than that, I think it has described the architecture really, really well. As you can see in the images, not that clear, but it has really gone with this, uh, you know, 
about architectural marvel but also important religious site how good is that okay and then it has point you know uh, it has also given us some pointing but i haven't done any pointing in this one so it hasn't annotated it but i will try it out now so let me select another image maybe i'll just go with this photosynthesis one and i will ask it to point to the cloud i'll say point to the or maybe yeah let's say cloud let's run this and you can not only see the speed it was lightning fast and these are the coordinates and look at this target target amazing stuff let's say i just ask you to do point to sun let's wait for it there you go this is the target and this model is open weight apache 2 license open data set everything is open and this is i really like about lnai okay so let's try out uh, maybe let's do OCR. It's not an OCR model as far as I know, but why not? Let's test it out. So I'm just going to go with this handwritten one and I'll just ask it extract the text. Let's check it out. And you can see the speed. I will let it run and just check out the speed. And there you go. Wow. And this is i'll just open this image in another window so this is the image and it is an ai generated one and you can see that there are some cross out word and you know i am also repeating some stuff here so you see it says that you know it has extracted it which is pretty good and then it is also telling us all about it that the word alt appears to be a misspelling of all now as you can see there are some cross out words i'll just say point to crossed outwards let's see if it can do that let's wait for it there you go target 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 amazing very impressive really really very impressive okay so let's check out the tabular data i'm going to ask it convert this table into json let's run this and it has converted it into json this is the table which we were uh, using and you see the column is this feature matrix traditional igpu setup and there you go feature matrix so it has defined all the columns and then these are the rows and it has done wonderfully well it's not a multilingual one but you know what let's check one quick maybe arabic ocr so this is just an old newspaper cutting i'm using so let's see if it can do that extract of the text let's wait for it and if you're arabic speak speaker just let me know what do you think about the output there you go you see it is just repeating stuff yeah but it has done wonderfully well in understanding the text that it is diplomatic relation because we saw the leaders from both countries not bad in terms of understanding it so this is what i was talking about the grounding okay so this is well and good let's try out the video so i'm just going to click on video here let me upload a video and then we will go from there so maybe i'll just start with and all videos are AI generated by the way let me play it too and then i'll say what is happening in the video so this is a video I'm using. This is, a, as, as I said, AI generated one. So some cheerleaders are doing their stuff. Let's see the video analysis. So it is running. And let me check the VRAM consumption. So it has jumped to uh, 43 kick of VRAM, as you can see. So still under 48 GB of VRAM. Uh, GPU can fit it in like a 6000 or something like that. There you go and did you see the speed it is saying that the video shows two college cheerleaders performing an energetic routine on a football field they are reading then it is you know describing it says bill near let's check it out if bill near is there 
इट इज बी एल 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 एन आई ई आर सो इट इज नॉट बी आई एल सो इट हैज मेड सम मिस्टेक देयर बट अगेन इफ यू लुक एट रेस्ट ऑफ इट दैट वेविंग देयर पॉम पॉम दैट ऑल दैट स्टफ एंड ऑल दिस इज रियली गुड ओके लेट से इफ इट कैन पॉइंट इट आई से पॉइंट इट टू दस पॉम पॉम्स Let's see if it can do the coordinates. And meanwhile, you can enjoy the cheerleaders. And these are age-generated one. Okay, so let's wait, and I'll tell you how long did it take. Or better yet, let me try to explain the architecture in simple words. so the architecture is fairly simple it processes video frames or images through a vision encoder that turns them into visual tokens then uses a lightweight connector to interleave those tokens with timing information and text before feeding them into a powerful language model backbone this whole setup enables bidirectional attention across visual tokens from different frames and that boosts performance on video and multi image tasks If you look at various benchmarks, and they have shared them in their um, blog, Molmo Two leads open weight models in areas like video tracking, short video question answering, counting with visual grounding, and image reasoning, while staying competitive with much larger proprietary system, despite training on curated high quality data. So fairly good model as we just saw. Okay, let's go back, and it has given us the coordinates. Now I have no way of confirming it, but looks okay to me. And these are the coordinates which are appearing in the video. Okay, let's try out another video. Okay, next up, I am giving it this video again, an AI generated one where a couple is moving through a forest setting in autumn, supposedly, and I am asking it what is the relationship of these humans. Let's see what model says here. And instead of hallucinating, model you know admits that it doesn't know the specific relationship between these two people while they are walking hand in hand through the forest, which suggests a close and affectionate connection. Their exact relationship is not clear. They could be partners, friends, family members, or even just acquaintances who are close enough to walk together in this intimate way. This is very good answer. You see, it didn't hallucinate, and that is what we were testing. Let's try out another video. I'm just going to go with this kangaroo video here, and let me play the video. So this is the video, as you can see, where there are two kangaroos in the boxing ring, and they're just sparring and that sort of thing. So I'm asking it which kangaroo should I bet on as winner. Let's see what model says. and there you go the model says i would say you should bet on kangaroo on the left <laughs> it says that the left kangaroo has advantage in terms of boxing gloves it's wearing a red boxing glove which are traditionally associated with the home fighter or the one making the first move this often gives a psychological edge additionally the left kangaroo appears to be more aggressive fighter the right kangaroo while standing tall and ready is on the defensive Okay, I'm not sure about this thing, but if you are into boxing, let me know how correct is that. But you know, it has identified the colors correctly, and uh, because you see, uh, the left kangaroo attacked first. So I think whatever limited information was there, model has made its decision. So look, I could go on and on with this model, but really, really, uh, you know. maybe you know it's the last video analysis model of this year but i think we are ending our it on the high note i don't think so we'll have another video analysis model this year but lnai has done wonderfully well please also follow me on x if you're looking for ai updates without any hype and please like the video subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support